Hey everyone, welcome to 2 Minutes Tuesday with Bala. This week we are going to look into MCP, Model Context Protocol. What is MCP? So MCP is a, a protocol that is defined uh, that could be used between different LLMs. So any LLMs can talk to different types of services. They made this as a, a common protocol. A protocol is nothing but it uses a RPC or HTTP to talk and then it also uses JSON 2.0 uh, to interact between services. The client talks to the server and tries to get all the information and what it is supporting. And then eventually whenever a user is making a query, it is able to convert that and see what services it could use from the MCP server, decides and makes those calls, get the data back in JSON, convert it back into a human readable format. Simple as that. Why do we really need MCP? MCP is nothing but like you can consider that as a USB-C uh, for your LLMs. So your LLMs can directly interact with, in layman terms, with different types of devices. So what are the major advantages of using MCP? It has pre-built integrations. So MCP can directly interact with all of your services through the MCP server uh, for each service. The second one, it's a lot of flexibility, which gives you, uh, you can switch between different LLM providers. Third one, it's security. So it, it secures your data within your infrastructure. Key terminology, MCP host is nothing but your uh, desktop application. In this case, it can be cloud desktop or VS Code or Cursor. MCP client, uh, that's the protocol that is used between your MCP host and your MCP server. So what exactly is MCP server? Server is that one that hosts your service that can talk to your backend or your file system or your custom data source. Local data sources are the computer files, data sources, or databases that are accessible. The last one is remote services. If it needs to talk to an external service, pull some data, in this case, like it can use that, basically some API calls or anything like that. So the architecture, you can see the MCP client being Cloud Desktop or Visual Studio Code. And then you have different types of MCP servers. In this case, I'm taking example of a, a Gmail, Slack, or Salesforce. Um, so anytime you put in a prompt uh, and then it goes to the MCP client and the MCP client would be able to talk back to the MCP server using the model context protocol to a dedicated service can talk back to the system get the data it needs and then give it back to the LLM and that could convert it back into the human readable format. In this case, you can see your MCP client being your USB C hub and that can be connected to different types of devices. And that's how it can talk. So it's more like a unified protocol that any devices can to talk to each other like USB drive. So in this case, any different LLMs can talk to any of the MCP server. And this is being backed with all major players. That's all for this week. We'll go in detail in the next episode. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you again next week. Thank you.